Hello, hockey fans. My name is David. Thought I would on this uh, 348 on the morning of Tuesday, 3rd of May, North American Eastern Time, uh, 848 British Time, 748 GMT, 948 Central European Time. I talk about the playoff games that occurred on Monday, North American Eastern Time that featured the Leafs, my hometown Maple Leafs, or Edmonton Oilers, ending up playing. Well, First, we talk about the Leafs because now, hometown team, 5 0 blowout. Uh, so, let's say, you know, what I liked. Well, the, the, the Leafs went to town again on the Lightning. Who would have thought <laughs> after the, so many times, you know, Marner Matthews hadn't shown up? You know, there wasn't going to be secondary scoring that showed up. Well, that happened. You well, know, secondary scoring did show up. There was the Leafs that first goal was by Ilya Mikheyev. So he did take a couple of penalties. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment, what I didn't like. So, yeah, Jack Campbell was in net. In contrast, you know, Jack Campbell was running the money. He stopped every shot that he faced. Mike Smith, the Edmund Northers, by contrast, allowed two ugly goals. I'll get into the Oilers game in a moment, because they're talking about the Canadian teams. Other than the Habs, I'm really hoping for one of those teams to win the Stanley Cup, well, Leafs, Oilers, or Flames, although they're pretty much the only options, because from the West, from Western Canada, Eastern Canada, the Canucks, Jets, Senators, and Cabs all missed this postseason. Well, they didn't play well enough. So, so pretty good performance by the Leafs overall. Penalties, psh, came down. The Oilers also took too many penalties, but... Like with the Leafs, taking too many penalties did not result in goals scored against the Leafs or others PK. But again, got to be careful. Kyle Clifford, another thing I didn't like about the Leafs game, well, one thing I didn't like, too many penalties, and also Kyle Clifford having been ejected for the second consecutive game among those meetings between Leafs and Lightning. That's not good. Clifford was fined by the NHL Department of Player Safety before. Well, recently, as last, you know, a couple weeks ago with it. Yeah. He hasn't learned anything. And I think that uh, he may very well have played himself out of the lineup. Like what Nazem Kadri had done, you know, you know, late in the 2010s, 2018, 2019. Dirty hits, both, you know, in mandatory ejections, game misconducts. Suspended both times. Kadri was out. Gone. Gone for the Leafs. The Leafs didn't need him anymore. But I don't know how useful Kyle Clifford is to the Leafs. Kadri Leafs was, in some ways, but Clifford, Kyle Clifford, who knows? All right, never mind. So that's so, yeah. I predict the Lightning will come out hard. At least they're going to try to. And, uh, and they may very well succeed if the Leafs aren't careful in Game 2 going Wednesday evening, North American Eastern Time. Be like kind of like the old puck drop shortly before 8. North America each time that evening. Now I'm going to shift over to the game between the Oilers, the Edmonton Oilers and the LA Kings. For the first meeting between those two teams since the 1990s. Wow. Remember then? You know, I remember then when my hometown Leafs were part of what would become the Western Conference. But what had then been known, well, when I, when I started following the Leafs, had been known in 1992, had been known as the Campbell Conference. The other conference I've been known as the Wales Conference. Well, the Prince of Wales Conference. So, or there's, ugh. You know, there are lots of other videos on YouTube available about, uh, you know, just went, went down. Mike Smith, the long-time, you know, main goalie for the Oilers, thought that by throwing excellent goaltending during the regular, during April, right under the bus, was a way to go. It didn't. As close as that game. That game one was. Between the Orders and Kings. Well 4-3 Kings. In regulation. Man. Oh man. <laughs> you think of a much worse goalie. Among Canadian teams. In the postseason. Than Mike Smith. I can't. Oh there's theory that. Oh maybe. Jack Campbell would. Well crap the bed. And all their souls. For lack of a better term, that's not exactly a swear term. 
I don't like to swear or if I possibly can when I'm making videos, but... Oh, God. Yeah, Mike Smith allowed an ugly goal kind of like in between, you know, kind of on his right side. That was the second number, you know, number, or, you know, King's goal number two. King's goal number four takes the icing on the cake for, you know, in terms of ugliness. Misplaying the puck behind his own net. He stopped the initial attempt, but the second attempt went through him. God. He doesn't need to know how to play the puck that well. Just leave it for other, other teammates of his to do. Ugh. Of course, I mean, yeah, it wasn't a problem with McDavid and Dreisaitl scoring. You know, the Babe Dreisaitl show was right on, and when other, you know, at least one other player scored for the Oilers. And yes, the Oilers had two power play goals. Very impressive. Problem was, at even, you know, at even strength, the Oilers had, you know, a great penalty kill. Which they need to have, even though none of their players were, even though no player uh, on the Oilers or Kings was, as far as I know, ejected from the game. From the game. That being said, the two power play goals, pretty impressive. But it's the re- reason the Oilers were as, the game was as close as it would be, end up being. Uh, so, 4-1, the Oilers were outscored at even strength. That's not good. Mike Smith allowed two ugly goals, but it wasn't only his fault. Terrible, you know, subpar defense in front of him contributed to that goal, to those goals. I'd have to watch the highlights, but there's no doubt. When I do, you know, definitely, you know, the Edmonton Journal, you know, gave some grades. uh, Having claimed that out of 10, Mike Smith deserved a three. There's no doubt that the ugly goal that Smith gave up that sealed that game for the Kings definitely deserved a marking down. I mean, but subpar defense for the Oilers did too. I mean, there was concern that if the Leafs did not win game one, there would be enormous pressure on them. Campbell got an A-plus goaltending. Mike Smith, <laughs> maybe got, you know, maybe deserves an F. Two shots that he should have stopped, but ended up not doing so. We know what had happened. 4-3. So yes, maybe the Oilers deserved a better fate, but with Mike Smith, ugh. And they have in, the, in, the, in their minor league system. I mean, I don't know if the big deal if the Bakersfield Condors made the playoffs, but maybe they should go for Stuart Skinner or Ilya Konovalov. Who knows? Yeah, there are already calls on Twitter uh, for the ownership group of the Oilers to fire Ken Holland. Well, if I were an Oilers fan, I'd agree. Prov- you know, if the Oilers were to lose this series. I mean, I'm not a fan of the Oilers typically, but during the postseason, my fandom switches from being just of my hometown Leafs to being of all Canadian teams other than the Habs. After all, since after the Leafs, since the Leafs last won a Stanley Cup in 1967, the Habs have won more Stanley Cups than the Senators, Leafs, Jets, Oilers, Flames, and Canucks combined. For me, I'm looking forward for Stanley Cup wins. Um you know, by Canadian teams other than the Habs. And if, if none of the East, and if neither the Leafs, if neither of the Ontario teams can do it, then maybe, you know, it'll have to fall to one of the Western Conference teams from Canada. And that's my hope. There may very well be a Battle of Alberta, but given that uh, Game 1 makes a very powerful statement, it, you know, you know, teams that win game one, I believe there's like one stat that, that teams that win game one in playoff series have, in the, you know, in the recent, at least in the recent past, won over half of the series in question. The Oilers have an uphill battle. They have work to do. They've got to tighten up their defense. 
yes, they don't have to worry about necessarily about suspensions. I mean, certainly, you know, Sheldon Keefe will have to, you know, likely have to make adjustments to the line, too. Because the NHL Department of Player Safety may give Keefe no choice. Because, you know, because if that Player Safety Department uh, acts before Wednesday's uh, Leaf, Leaf Lightning tilt in Toronto, Keefe will have to keep Cliff, Cliff, Clifford out of the lineup. The Oilers don't have to, have to worry about that, but man, oh man. You know, Coach Woodcroft has to make some big changes. They, they were just enough is enough for them. The Oilers haven't won a playoff game. They haven't won a playoff game since, I don't know, you know since you know, 2020 in the, you know, in the playing round against the Chicago Blackhawks. Ugh. I don't know, if, you know, can the Oilers even win a playoff game? The Leafs in this, this, just hours ago, have already won more playoff games, one, than the Oilers have managed to do following, you know, from, from 2021 onward. The Oilers have won zero of five. Five playoff games, the Oilers have won zero. Can you believe that? Yeah. I have to wonder if Ken Holland, GM, and your GM now in his third season, will stay as GM if the Oilers end up losing this this playoff round. Because, my God, things are not looking too good in in Central Alberta oil country. Yes, the United Calgary Flames will be playing on Tuesday, uh, late Tuesday. Uh, it's going to be a late one. Against the Dallas Stars. Hopefully the Flames can come through. Where the Oilers could not. So as I conclude this I say. Go Oilers go. Go Flames go. And go Leafs go.